Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome to SnowRunner. In uh, today's episode, we are finishing up the Not a Drill mission we started last time. We are uh, currently taking our Fleet Star with the Hide Saddle and we are going to the factory in the, I think, the north part of the map. Uh, yeah, the northern part of the map up the construction rig semi trailer. I don't know how heavy that is, so that's why I went with the Fleet Star, which is my most uh, powerful uh, pulling truck. I don't want to have any issues where uh, I'm really struggling to go up a hill or something. I may have, maybe should have, really could have uh, installed um, all terrain tires instead of the off-road off tires for this because a lot of the road we'll be doing is on actual paved roads and if you look at my damage counter I took a fair bit of hits to the engine just getting here because uh, the off-road uh, tires just slide all over the place with um, with uh, pavement so uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's hope this uh, works out pretty well. Well, to be honest, just getting here uh, off screen, we did uh, cro ford a river, a ridiculous river. So, uh, those might have helped there. In any way, shape, or form, let's get this pulling. And what's going to be our route? We have to take this to the drilling site over here. Uh, for sure, we will not want to cross this thing, which I barely crossed um, without any kind of uh, cargo. So let's go via the more paved route. We should have a good route all the way there. Not sure if I want to do this bend here, but... You know what, let's just go the safe route, even if it's longer. Worst case scenario, I can always refuel here. Yeah, or maybe we'll make a judgment call. Because this area is pretty mucky as well. So, hmm. Yeah, actually, no, I remember, remember this area is pretty mucky as well. So it doesn't really matter if we're going this way or via this. This might be a bit dangerous because it's such uh, a steep drop and also will imply um, a short turn there, but it should be fine. Again, we've at, the, at this point in the series, we really have done quite a fair bit of our dangerous cargoes. Oh wow, this is huge. <laughs> yeah, cut to me going like, ah, this is going to be easy. Oh wow, this is truly huge. I mean, it would have been fine if it would have been straight, but this is not. This is entirely oversized. Uh, let's turn off the engine. <laughs> uh, let's uh, check our route. For sure, we're going. We're doing this, and we'll just see how this is. But I, I'm skeptical. I'm fully entirely skeptical. Man, that side rail there just kills all my mumbo jumbo. That whatever sidewalk guard rail because of these kinds of situations. This isn't even a, sh a not wide road. Not wide. What's the. Narrow. Narrow is the word I'm looking for. It's not even a narrow road. I mean, just look how tiny my fleet star looks down there. It's like totally dwarfed by this. Yeesh. Oh, wow. It, it's even making me drive poorly because I can't really see my truck. And I can't really see which way I'm going. Oh, wow. And if this tips, I'm entirely screwed, aren't I? I mean, it's not even all that wide. It's maybe a bit wider than my truck, uh, wheelbase-wise. 
but yeesh. Okay, I take it back. This is probably the the biggest, most oversized, most ridiculous cargo I have ever called hold. So far, in, at the very least. On the upside, I'm really glad I got the the fleet star. I would not have wanted to do this in any other truck. Maybe an actual concern now. And yeah, maybe just maybe I should have taken those uh, highway tires. Well, not highway, but at least all terrain tires. are on auto one out of four i have to actually put it up to low plus get the same speed might as well get better traction on the ground i haven't activated all wheel drive because honestly i don't think it really matters still have a fair bit before we reach the moment where we have to make a decision. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is utterly ridiculous. This is lengthier than a 5 slot, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's bigger than a 5 slot. And yeah, no, for sure we can do that. Uh, I've already had problems here in regards to in regards to losing grip with the wheels on the ground. So no, let's uh, let's check the actual proper route. It's gonna be longer, but at the very least, uh, we can swing by the fuel station if we really, really must. I don't think it would be rec necessary, but maybe. Because that, I mean, even if we were to be able to handle it with the elevation, for sure we could not handle the this this very very tight turn in the woods there. I mean, just look at this, right? Look at this. Yeesh. drive off we are sucking down like 11 liters a minute or we'll drive on we're sucking up to 15 16 each. oh it was that oh yes we bottomed out damn Oh, 
Wow. Wow. I mean, we literally could not move on low plus at best. We're just moving along with uh, low to get out of that situation. Eesh, man, this is huge. Do they really need all these things? Can they just like disassemble it somehow? I mean, I'm pretty sure those lights are superfluous. They can be totally packed and assembled. Oh, please tell me I can use this bridge. Please tell me. Dude. I was worrying about the height. Okay, will, will those lights go under this bridge? They do, but I swear it's barely. Okay, are we gonna go for fuel? I say yes. Let's brake, 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 stop the engine, continue braking. Oh gods, what? Stop! 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 Okay. Do we have any other better option to deliver this to the ring site? Not really, this is terrible. This is this is actually gonna be a disaster. I don't think we can do it just because it's such a steep hill. Uh, I have no idea about this, but it evolves all of this, so no. Yeah, I guess this is literally the best way to get that there. It'd be nice if we could have done just this, but uh, no, for sure no. And I mean, there was all, always an option, I guess, to... Yeah, we, we just don't have the, the power for that. Okay, let's... Let's head over, let's refuel, uh, let's refuel and then come back. Actually, let's push this back a bit. Stop the attach. The, is it going anywhere? No, it's not. Okay. Let's uh, get some fuel. We don't really know how much we're going to be wasting getting it through that uh, horrible area. So might as well be topped off. I don't really want to end this episode on a... Hey guys, let me go get my other truck. Okay, there we go. That's fueled up. Really glad they didn't do this with the white star. It wouldn't have been able to handle it. I mean, I mean, it, maybe it would have, but we'd have done it on uh, the lowest uh, gear possible. If that, I mean, we still did. the hardest terrain is still ahead of us. This was road. <laughs> this was actually just paved road up until this point. Pretty sure I should just stick to low plus, should, shouldn't just bother with anything. All wheel drive, differential lock, all that good stuff. Let's get all the advantages that we can get. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ouch. Yeah, that's a bit much for uh, the differential lock. Let's just keep an eye on that. Okay. Okay. Wow. Actually, is it is this scraping on the ground in any way, shape, or form? I think it is. 
trees to the rescue. Well, a different tree to the rescue. Oh, do we not have any good trees here? No, we do not. Um, okay, we have some give here we can exploit. I'm not sure what's happening here. Are we actually just scraping this across the ground? I'm unsure what's happening here. I'm entirely unsure. Um, hmm. Let's detach. Oof. Okay, so half of it is the terrain, which is really, really bad. And for sure we cannot winch this in any way, shape or form. So let's get on this harder terrain and then uh, see what we can do here. The thing is, again, we cannot winch that. At most we can try to cheese it and, you know, attach it somewhat fakely. Yeah, okay, I think it's scraping across across the ground. So let's see if we can... There we go. That got it slightly clearer. Okay, let's switch back to a low gear. That doesn't do anything. Okay, what's the actual problem here? Because I have no idea. Wow, do we just not have the power for this? Let's get this reversed. Okay, this is well and truly stuck, isn't it? I mean, I'm not sure how else I can pull this. Confused. I'm entirely confused at this point. Let's detach it. Okay, I, I'm not seeing anything that would mess with it. Is it just a horrible terrain? Do I not have enough uh, traction on this mud? but still I mean yeah look at this we're having trouble even with the truck as is I mean I would want to just take this back and see if there's another route but I'm not sure we can even do that the trees oh there we go come on easy oh 
easy there. No tip. Okay, let's... That's some watery surface there, but honestly, it's... we've tried the mud here and that didn't work at all. So let's stick to a low gear, the lowest we can, slow and steady. And oh, this doesn't tip because if this tips, we're in some serious issues. On camera, you can do it. That's definitely not how I want to see the environment, but oh well. Okay, are we stuck? Where are we stuck? What are we stuck on? Hmm. Okay, can we pull ourselves onto something? We have various small trees to wreck. Okay, are we just stuck in a tree here? If the camera would stop futzing around, that'd be great. Yeah, okay, just this little tree was getting under our wheels, so let's carry on. Come on, differential. No, 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 don't go red on me. Don't go red on me. You're good, you're good. You're still good. You're great. You're fantastic. There we go. Uh, okay, I think this is beached. Yep, oh, we our wheels are on, in the air. That's fantastic. I was going to say, let's try going on the right-hand side now. Uh, well, we are a beached whale. Anything we can pull the back of this to? Uh, heesh, okay, this is leaving me with few options. Okay, let's go reverse gear because we have differential lock in the reverse gear. But the problem is that right now we just do not have enough contact points with the ground. So, let's attach the trailer. That would actually push it just a tiny wee bit back. There we go. I said there we go. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's happening here. Yeah, I shouldn't, should not have put it on this horrible ground. Okay, let's cheese it. Let's... Uh, oh, we're in reverse. Okay. Let's see if we can drop it down through here by just positioning the truck differently. And it's a good thing we refuel, though. Perfection, perfection, perfection. Hmm. Okay, at the very least we can pull ourselves with a winch now. And if this tips, we are pretty much in the F word. Okay, my truck is literally dangling. 
I'm not sure any of the wheels make any contact with the ground at this point. It matters. Trying to inch it ever so slowly. Actually, how, how about we? Yeah, we don't have any forward points for this, do we? Uh, I guess we can try this to this. Yeah, I think that's making it worse. So let's... Uh was hoping for smoother operation here but it is what it is it's gonna be really bad if uh, it's too high and we can't remount the trailer Back, back on wheels. Oh, easy there. Let's switch to a low gear. Okay, will that clip through? No, that will totally not clip through. Goddamn sidewalks, side board, side walk, walkways, walkways is the word I'm looking for. We are out. Just need to get on this road. Return here. Okay, something like this. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Okay, that 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 seems to be good. Minus the horrible tilting offside. Okay, let's switch to proper low. The differential lock. I'd rather have consistency than, you know, ending up in like fourth gear or something for no reason. And let's hope we can totally do it via that bridge, because if this is somehow wider than bridge or something, we are really, 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 really in a bad situation. Hopefully not. Okay. Four gear. Lowest gear. What are you stuck on again? Is this just mud? Are we are we just stuck in mud? Okay. Uh, mud I can handle. Let's do this. That's gonna be enough. Uh, but honestly, 
that's only gonna be enough if we don't get stuck because if you get stuck in the in that patch of mud before the bridge or before or after the bridge we are in a bad spot out slow and steady wins the race stick to this side here which appears to be ever so slightly less moist than the other side okay we're on the bridge all good all good now let's try and center this as much as possible let's not get this dropped down okay a little heart attack there but all's good Let's take a break here while we can. Give me a give me a quaint second over here, guys. Just uh, making a screenshot of this, and let's head out. Slow and steady. I want to get out of this muck as soon as possible. Man, I'm so glad I got the Fleet Star. Eesh. Okay, let's try. Oh, can afford a higher gear? That's great. Can we afford. Oh man, can my. I hate this. I wish I could just uh, switch gears. Okay, that was a mistake. That was a mistake because we lost the momentum. So let's not ever switch off that. I was gonna say, if we're having problems right now with this truck, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure what other truck, but, you know, starting truck would uh, give us. Okay, let's take it easy. A nice wide turn here as much as possible. Get ourselves up with the truck on the left hand side here just to offer some uh, support. and uh, balance out the trailer and uh, let's keep a slow and steady pace if we if we stop I think we'll stop <laughs> we need to keep this going for as long as possible just straight 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 I hope this little hit Pump there wouldn't cause us any issues. I mean, there is some scraping, but I don't think that's what we had issues with beforehand. Okay, come on, easy. No, no tip. It's a bit. It's a bit late to tip now, don't you think? And there we go. That was it. That was it. Not a drill completed, we're back in business, let's spin up those rails, much appreciate, first site has been constructed. This has been the first thing, the first uh, successful big world map mission completion. Whew, this was a, a real tough one. I'm actually proud of myself for it, and I'm proud of my little truck. This, ha this has been great. And I'm actually glad we didn't do this uh, little bend here. That have been really, really horrible. Either way, um, that actually clears up, if I'm not mistaken, uh, winter uh, winter stores. Winter's closing in, soon it will be impossible to get supplies to the base. The rig will keep drilling no matter what, but a fat lot of good it'll do if we run out of food and equipment. Help us out. Deliver to logistics base, instant to fam. Oh, this maintenance trailer? Oh, okay, so maybe we can tie these together. And the river to logistics base in Smithville Dam, some vehicles per parts, which we will probably get from Smithville Dam itself. Either way, all of that are problems we're gonna solve in the next episode. 
So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this episode, please like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff and leave a comment below. I'm posting these relatively daily, I think daily by this point, uh, 30 minutes up to 45 minutes of SnowRunner goodness every day delivered to your YouTube. If you click that bell and subscribe to the channel. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one where we will be delivering this trailer to Smithsville Down Logistics Base. Have a good one.